This is the undercarriage cleanup on my 1966 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. That's how it looked before. This is a low mileage, all original Cadillac. Only the undercoating was dry and there was some surface rust, nothing serious. As you can see, there is some slight surface rust, old undercoating everywhere. I think the car was ordered with undercoating and that's why it's everywhere. There was some rust inside the bumper pockets which were not protected from the factory. I used rust removing gel to remove it. Most of the old undercoating could be removed with dry ice blasting. Everything was sprayed and soaked with rust removing liquid for three days until the rust was gone. I used a pump to circulate and reuse the fluid. This very slowly dissolved most of the surface rust. I dried everything and this is how it looked afterwards. As you can see, most of the rust was gone. Only very few rust spots were left. The front wheel housings looked almost new after the undercoating was gone. I had to manually remove some more of the rust until everything was gone and clean. First coat of undercoating is on. I'm using a gray for the first coat. The next coat will be black, so I can make sure that I don't miss any spots. It's very clean now, let it dry in between coats. This will be painted blue, Cadillac blue. I'm using these products. The first one to go on is Timex Color. I used two coats gray one and the uh, black one. Then I use UBS clear. It's a clear undercoating. I use two coats and then in the wheel housings uh, I use also Timex body which is, which is a 2k gear protector. Now on to the second coat. One gray coat and two black coats, followed by two transparent coats. undercoating was sprayed inside the fender skirts where I removed it with tar removal. Here the transparent undercoating was already applied. I replaced the old chucks and the stabilizer bar link. The chrome trim had to be cleaned as well. The inside of the fender skirt was full of undercoating. I removed it and applied some fresh undercoating afterwards. The rubber splash guards were full of undercoating as well, which I had to remove. 
It took a while to clean them up. And that's the finished product. The car is now clean and protected and should last forever. I spent an estimated 180 hours underneath the car. I did not plan to do a video. That's why there is a documentation of some of the important steps. You can find more info on my website www.eldorado-seville.com Thanks for watching.